The phrase glass ceiling is used to describe the barriers that have been set up to block the career advancement of women in business. And shattering that ceiling has become a major objective for thousands of women. To a great extent, the women who get a chance to run a major corporation are only given that opportunity once the company is in serious trouble. One study pointed out that over a 15-year period, only the companies that had a terrible return on investment turned their top job over to a woman. Instead of helping these women break through a glass ceiling, what they really did was push them onto a glass cliff. Some examples. Marissa Meyer became the chief executive of Yahoo when it was in disastrous shape. Anne Mulcahy became the first female CEO of Xerox after its previous managers managed to rack up a debt of $17.1 billion. Face it, blowing $17 billion takes some special talent. And Mary Barra was made the president of General Motors at the moment it faced the recall scandal. One result of this rather dismal situation is that more and more women start their own businesses. And as Martha Stewart would say, that's a good thing. Well, it looks like it's not easy to pull the data together, but appears that 224 million women are running businesses, and that's about 37% worldwide, and they range from a little bookshop in town to some giant high-tech company. And interestingly, Bert, women manage their companies much differently in that they reinvest a larger portion of the revenue into the health and well-being of their employees. Women entrepreneurs tend to create jobs. In the United States, between 2013 and 2018, just five years, they are expected to create over 10 million new jobs.